Hello and welcome back. It's been a while. <clears throat> uh, I was busy, but uh, I wanted to um, uh, make this video because I cannot find this information anywhere. And uh, I'm still struggling uh, with uh, any good reviews. All of the reviews that I come across, they are either two years old or eight years old, like between that time span. It looks like nobody has taken any course or graduated from uh, UMGC, University of Maryland Global Campus. And the reason I'm making this video is because <clears throat> Amazon recently announced that uh, they are bumping up their um, sport for uh, career choice uh, for uh, their associates to go take classes in college. They were already working with University of Maryland Global Campus. They have a program there. But surprisingly, there are no videos, no information available. And some of the questions that I wanted, I haven't gotten in their answer yet. And it looks like all you have to, I will have to do, go join, find them hard way. Uh, first of all, about this program, so you can see, actually, previously, Amazon was giving only $12,000. And... Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, even that, they, that will, they will cover only 95%. You will have to pay 5%. If you can go, you can actually see it's still the case. Up, it was going to be the case until December 31st. And uh, the how University of Maryland Global Campus or any other, uh, no, just them. Yeah, uh, they divided it into four payments of 3,000 each. They expanded their um, associate program um for four years that's crazy that should not be but i don't know why what they're thinking four years to complete associates think about that that's uh crazy and they're charging three thousand per year 16 credit hours per year uh, i don't like it but uh that's debatable so now it's all going to change from january 1st it's gonna be i had to wait whole year uh, to be eligible for this program but from january 1st it's gonna be 90 days you have worked in amazon 90 days you are eligible for this grant that is being bumped from 3000 right here to 50 to 50 right there and uh, per year uh my limit or previously the limit was up to twelve thousand amazon will pay twelve thousand and then no more now the it's uh no lifetime maximum so for example if you are if you just want to keep studying um, another course you definitely can do and i really was hoping that amazon works with wgu i actually gotten hold of somebody at wgu i worked with them for maybe a month uh, back and forth emailing uh, involved another uh, like uh, somebody higher up to look into it unfortunately wg is not uh, part of the program yet i even actually went ahead i don't know if you can uh, inbox yeah so i actually sent them an email as well uh, asking is WG being considered to be part of the program? Unfortunately, not. So, it's not. And October 28th. So, for the past uh, two, three weeks, I've been just searching to find UMGC reviews if anybody has uh, completed the program or uh, gotten any jobs off of it. Unfortunately, no reviews, anything. Uh, you can't find any good tangible information out of youtube or any reddit forums uh like how how, how does it work what are the classes look like uh especially the the one question i have uh uh the most important question of all is that if you go to this page that <clears throat> list the certification under information security analyst and you can say the wording is a little bit of vague it says will prepare you while if you go to WGU it says they are included and WGU is known to give you a, not only just a voucher uh, for the first try it gives you a retake voucher as well 
and their program obviously is bachelor so it includes 14 uh, all in all i think it's less than 14 because uh this right here network security professional uh, uh, security analytic professional they don't count because they're stackable uh, you get two of them so you get the third one kind of a title kind of a certificate uh, so it's not something that you actually went ahead studied or what it's just like you pass two different exam and you get the third one <clears throat> it's not like it's completely useless it's just like uh, like uh, in the old days uh, you had to do CCN one and two two different exam to get your CCNA so it's that kind of uh, deal the uh, if you go through the Amazon A to Z you put in your uh, FC uh, buildings uh, zip code you get all this these schools so I got a that's third school that is flat iron and it has the Amazon cybersecurity analytics as well uh, I look into their syllabus and their syllabus uh, even though it's a 32 weeks program uh, I went through the program and well, so, sorry it's syllabus and it does not look like they're offering any kind of uh, certification they are either it's going to be all in-house uh, videos courses quizzes everything but it's nothing that's uh, if it's hands-on that will be great uh, so far there's nothing that's standing out to be anything that gives you an edge just like WG program you have your bachelor's degree but you have these certs uh, right here these certs so most of the time if you see a job uh, uh, description you will see a lot of uh, certs listed and these are all generic ones these are not the ones that uh, I see for FANG um, job postings, they require this. They're asking for the certificates that costs in thousands. Uh, but still, if it's these are actually good enough for you to land 100K jobs easily, especially with the bachelor's degree. degree. The, there are four tracks available for, from UMGC and all of them if you go through them oh no not here yes if you click on them most of them are oh, the common is a network and security plus if you go to network technician you can see it's right here as well uh, and i don't understand why ccna and network plus uh, and cysa uh, uh, as well in there so either it's a pretty generic page that lists all the certificate over and over again uh, but it doesn't look like because it does not have ECH and all that it does have Azure and Linux and EC Council certified uh, oh, incident handler, handler so in there there are three EC Council uh, certs where is the other one? Ah, certified ethical hacker. This is the third one. Uh, so these EC Council certificates, yes, they are. Um, for some reason, uh, they are. I've seen them listed, especially this one, ethical hacker. But that alone is a thousand dollar cert just to take the exam. If you want their training as well, it costs about two thousand so uh, the other thing is that uh, i actually went ahead uh, sent an email uh, unfortunately since this is a library page so you cannot ask them about the vouchers uh, it, you can only ask them about the library or study material i think uh, so i'm still waiting on an answer on the vouchers like do they provide the vouchers or just like hey our course is good enough to go ahead and take these exams while wgu it does provide you those vouchers the so what are the, uh, what's the process to um get uh, the funding secured you have to go through apply apply to the program that's what they're saying actually it's somewhere enroll yeah 
yes right here so you have to go through apply and select amazon career choice then you go ahead uh, follow in the career choice you apply for the uh, grant but when when i went there they were asking for some more information uh, they were asking like you have to have this certain information you see i have my full benefits still available uh, I will be enrolled. I know the cost, first class start date, and third expected completion date. So I have to have this inf information before I go ahead and apply for the funding. So it's like a little bit loop before I have all the answers. I need I need to know which one I'm going to apply, uh, like WGU or UMGC. Of course, if I apply UMGC, Amazon will cover it, uh, but that's only an associate degree, and that's uh, awful uh, it will take awful lot of time four years just to complete that degree. that's a no-brainer uh, you, you do WG seems uh, better uh, but the thing is there are three month sorry six month term is 39.50 so you have to have FAFSA some kind of sport as well as you have to have um, like obviously employer support is gone uh, it's just FAFSA and you have to some have some kind of uh, scholarship which they do offer uh, there is a 5,000 um, um, scholarship for cybersecurity and 2,500 uh, scholarship in general for other programs uh, they t divide it into terms like the number of terms you're gonna take with them so it does help you but it looks like this one is going I will have to pay something out of pocket the other way of doing it faster if somebody is thinking about it take this for a while where when you can do not apply for FAFSA uh, I don't know like uh, the, the I'm not sure like how long does FAFSA support you uh, is it a certain amount of time uh, uh, amount that uh, they will give you uh, towards a degree or not like I, I do think it runs out so I will not touch FAFSA if I am going with the University of Maryland uh, you can get some credits here just like uh, they said somewhere here um, so 160 per year for up to 16 credits so per year 16 credits so you can see here 35 credits general education so if you going through this program uh, it doesn't matter you have to you don't have to complete it for in for or wait four years you can just do it for as long as when you're ready to jump into WGU get some credits here and go to WGU study some of these certificates the easier one on your own pay the uh, fees for example I know ITIL is 250 security plus I took it's 370 uh, network plus was 350 a plus were 250 each so you see it's 250 plus 250 for a plus five hundred dollars it a lot less than four thousand dollars for six months so if you were to go ahead clear those get them out of the way uh, you get credit for those you don't have to go and uh, you know they can they consider those done and remove them out of your program so you, all you have to do is just go through the uh, rest of the classes to get your degree uh, project plus I have heard it's really easy one and ITIL that actually somebody who went to who works with me who he went to the WGU uh, for a different program but he had both of these in his program as well uh, I think he was he was in networking so these are the easiest one I already have my a plus network plus and security plus so those are gone as well uh, so yep that's it uh, that's how you can try to maneuver if you are working for Amazon and you don't want to pay for college for <clears throat> the longest possible otherwise by all means apply for FAFSA uh, jiggle some money out of your uh, account and
get it done the other uh, I'm in Ohio so one uh, other thing I know actually another associate uh, colleague of mine he he's in a, another building by in IT but he used to be in my building or working as an FC employee and uh, he was going to uh, Columbus State Community College I am not uh, uh, featuring uh, them as a cybersecurity here because the, I didn't like their website. Uh, there was not enough information. It was just say apply, call the college, have them work with them. That's not you are an online school, and that's not how it should be. So basically, what he told me that Amazon uh, he was in uh, associate degree with Columbus State Community College, uh, two year program. Amazon was paying some rest of them for for rest of the time he applied for FAFSA so he was able to do it uh, I think it's he now it's gonna be still maybe a couple of more months when he told me uh, back in uh, August he had six months to go and uh, he, that's how he did it FAFSA Amazon combined uh, so they, it might be an option if you're in Ohio. Uh, I'm not considering that. I I like the WG program a, a lot better. It's completely online, and uh, there's already a lot of information available. All right, so that's that's it for this video. It's awful lo lot long video. I'm gonna wrap it here. If you have any questions or if you have any information, especially about UMGC. Uh, if you know anyone who ha has gone through this program, landed a job, or knows uh, if they pay for the vouchers or how the classes look like, and uh, all that information, I will definitely appreciate if you can hit me up. Thank you, and you have a great day.